Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Ellison. Today I want to talk about essential fatty acids. This is the omega-3 fatty acids and the omega-6 fatty acids. The omega-3s are more commonly known or given as a supplement in fish oil. And the ratio between the two of these is very important to your health. Now, there are a lot of arguments today that we eat diets that are very high in omega-6s, and therefore we're creating a significant essential fatty acid imbalance where we're getting overloaded with omega-6s. And this is the problem we're having, and people are pushing fish oil. Now, fish oil can create some real problems, or an overabundance of omega-3s can create some real problems. Dr. David Harabin is one of the primary writers on this, presenting his research over the years. And he argues that omega-6 essential fatty acids will handle any condition caused by a deficiency of essential fatty acids, whereas omega-3s will not. The problem in getting enough of what you need every day in essential fatty acids is the two different fatty acids compete with a common enzyme called double 6 desaturase. That enzyme takes each compound down to the next biologically active compound in that biochemical pathway for each one of them. Well, the omega-3s have a stronger attraction for this enzyme to the omega-6s. So the use of the omega-6s gets blocked. So they don't get taken to their next active compound, linoleic acid. And the pathway just can't continue, and you can't produce all the biological activity that you need to protect yourself from a deficiency of omega-6s. Now, omega-6s are degraded very, very slowly, very slowly. So it's very hard to get an overabundance of these other biologically active compounds because they're just not being made that fast and we end up with an overabundance of omega-3s, which can create a multitude of health problems. Now, Dr. Harabin argues that nutritionists in general are promoting the idea of taking a lot of omega-3s, particularly the fish oil, and this is going to be a real mistake for our health. And the story comes about because in the early part of the century when the Eskimos, who didn't have any heart disease, they were getting a lot of omega-3s from the fish they ate, the fat they ate, and from seals and things like that. So the, the feeling was that omega-3s were protecting them from heart disease. And they just didn't have any implications of heart disease. But they didn't have any implications of hardly any disease of any kind anyway because they've been predominantly living on meat forever and ever and ever. And we know that degenerative diseases don't occur to primitive populations. Hunter-gatherer populations don't get the diseases of degeneration that we get now because of the addition of all the grains and agricultural products that we currently consume. So be very, very careful. If you're taking fish oil, it's a good idea to stop. Get yourself a source of omega-6. It would be much better for you. The best sources are eating primrose oil and borage oil. I like borage oil because it contains something called gamma-linoleic acid, which is the next biological compound we need to get that does the work in our body that essential fatty acids will do for us. So that's the essential fatty acid story. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.